Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's great to see your lovely, smiling, beautiful faces. We're about to talk about a subject that's really near and dear to me, but before we begin with that topic, I just want to give you guys an update on the rebranding of the channel. Starting next week, you can expect videos here on this channel every Monday and Thursday. Mondays are going to be the advice videos, sit down heart to heart kind of videos, and Thursdays are going to be the more fun videos of you know music covers, parodies, fashion videos, makeup videos, that kind of stuff. So you can kind of expect both on this channel. You're going to get the real stuff because that's why I know a lot of you guys are here. You guys feel like you can relate to these videos and that makes me so happy because we all need a little bit of that. So you're going to expect that next week and my channel will officially be called Shaylee next week. We're dropping the and baby. We're moving on. So today's video I want to talk about something that I don't think I've ever really talked about, surprisingly. Sometimes I wonder to myself, what have I not talked about on my channel yet? Because you guys know, I pretty much an open book on here and I'll talk about anything. But this video is kind of inspired by an Instagram post that I made last week. Last week I was searching through my husband's phone and I found some photos of Jude's birth. They were photos that I had seen before, like right after he was born, but I literally forgot all about them. And so it was kind of nice to see them again because it kind of brought back all the, the old feels. And I posted this picture on my Instagram, kind of telling you guys how I felt that day. And when I saw this picture and just my emotions of the whole day. Jude is my second child and he was born via C-section. My daughter was also born via C-section. So this was my second C-section. And it was a scheduled one because my body does not want to go into labor naturally ever. So my kids are in there from 42 weeks on and they don't want to come out. So <laughs> they had to pretty much schedule the C-section to get them out. If you guys haven't seen the birth vlog, I think you should because it's awesome. My brother made the video. It's really good. Shameless plug right there. Okay, moving on to the story. That second C-section was incredibly difficult. Recovery after the first one was hard just because I was not used to being a mom and nursing and all that stuff and if you guys are a parent um, and you've birthed a baby you understand how stressful those first few weeks are when you're like wondering if your baby is gonna die of starvation because you're not producing enough milk and your doctor's like it's okay that you just you have colostrum you're fine you're fine they don't need your milk you know but you just like feel like you're you're not doing enough feel like you're not producing enough and it's just woo so I had that going on with Jude but he didn't want to nurse at all like with Eden she immediately latched on and was fine um, but with Jude he had no interest in it so that was kind of an added stress on top of that but rewinding back to kind of like the beginning of his birth story right after he was born they did not put him on my chest there was no like skin to skin nothing like that his oxygen levels were really low and so they took him away for I don't even know how long it was to be honest with you but it was two or three hours I was absolutely miserable my body does not react well to like the medicine that they give you during a c-section I basically swell up into like this massive sausage and I'm like breaking out and I'm scratching my face and I'm just I ugh, it's a terrible <laughs> experience so I'm kind of like coming out of that totally drugged out I'm dehydrated because I had been throwing up you know all the way to giving birth like I was throwing up on this section table I just have I'm always really sick in my pregnancy so I was ready to see him and to hold him because I needed that in that moment it was just what I needed you you know you know how important it is to hold your baby for the first time I think not having that skin to skin with him in the beginning and not having that time with him in the beginning made it really really hard for me to connect with him emotionally from the beginning and I felt terrible. I'm actually in like a mommy support group on Facebook and I posted in there. I was just like, I feel way closer to Eden than I do to Jude. Is this normal? I seriously felt like the worst mom in the world posting that because I was just like, how could I choose one kid over the other, you know? And it's not necessarily that Eden was my favorite. It was just the fact that I had an instant connection with her. And who knows, it could have been the fact that I nursed right away and had the skin to skin, or maybe it was some other factor. Or maybe it was just the fact that it was my second kid and I was just not used to that transition. It could have been anything. But I definitely did not feel that way with Jude in the beginning. And I've never talked about that in videos or vlogs or anything like that because I just always felt like 
it was my issue and my problem. But gosh, the more that I talk to moms out there like that have been through this, I realize that this is actually normal. You might be watching this video and you may not have connected with your child right away and that's totally fine. Other instances like adoption or foster care, I'm sure it's the same thing there too. I mean, going from like what you're used to in your everyday life to something different, as hugely different as having a kid, I'm sure that that's just like, I mean, I'm not sure I know because I've experienced it twice. It's a whirlwind of emotions and thoughts and just, oh, it's a lot of stuff all at once. I don't feel like I really connected with Jude until like maybe his seventh or eighth month of life. That's when I felt like I finally, I don't know how to explain it. Like I've always loved him so much and he's always had my heart and he's always been my son. And it's just, you know, that's like a love that can't be taken away. But there, there came a moment when I was able to like look at him and, and I felt just a connection. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I do believe that it's normal and not something that many people are probably gonna admit <laughs> on camera in front of people. But that's the way it was and every birth story is different, every birth story is unique. So what I was saying on this Instagram post is I was so glad that David took this picture of me and Jude because I remember just being completely out of it. Just completely <laughs> out of it at that moment. I was so sleep deprived. I actually, when I announced to you guys that he was born and all of that stuff, I was writing out that status on Facebook or Instagram, I don't remember, and I fell asleep writing that out like five times. It was a paragraph, but I was so sleep deprived. I was, <laughs> I was just gone. Another thing that was really hard for me both times is pretty much the way that I thought about my body right after having a baby. It is the time where I am most critical about my body and what it's done. That seems so backwards because you think that I would like appreciate it more after having babies, but it was never been that way for me. I could talk about that more in a future video, maybe like a like a body confidence after having birth or something video if you guys are interested in watching something like that. But I just wanted to make this video today to encourage you mamas out there. I know that it doesn't always come easy. You know, you, what you may have experienced with one kid, you don't experience with a second. And that's okay. It's okay. It's normal. It's fine. Stop beating yourself up about it and stop feeling like a terrible mom because you're not. You're just experiencing emotions and there's nothing wrong with it. There's so many physical changes, so many hormonal changes and emotional changes. It is a lot at once. And I don't think we should be expected to you know, give birth and then feel like we're on a cloud and feel like everything's fine and dandy. I mean, that's how they portray it in movies. But sometimes it's just not like that. And for those of us that have suffered with postpartum depression, it's a whole different game. When you bring in that, you're trying to wake up every day, take care of your kids, but you're in this like pit hole of depression. When I first battled postpartum depression, it didn't even happen until about six months after Eden was born and I didn't realize what was going on. Just all of a sudden, I felt like I changed everything. Like my mental thoughts were different and I just felt terrible. But with Jude, just like his birth was harder than the first, the postpartum was definitely harder than the first. And I have videos talking about that as well. If you guys need someone to relate with you, or you just want to feel like you're not alone if you're dealing with that, please watch those videos. I'll have all of these videos I'm talking about down in the description box so you guys can go and watch them. It's very important for me to convey on this channel that you're not alone. I feel like that is my goal here. I want to talk about real topics that other moms maybe not be talking about, and maybe they feel ashamed to talk about it, or maybe they just feel like nobody wants to hear those things, but gosh, I feel like I've had such a overwhelming response from you guys through the years that these are the things that you want to talk about and these are the things you want to hear about because I know as a mom myself these are the kind of videos I want to watch you know I gravitate toward knowing that that I'm not alone I mean I think that's just a natural human desire we want to know that we're not alone and we want to feel connection and community and I want you guys to feel like you have that here on this channel. So that is my goal. There's so much more that I feel like I could say about this topic, but there's so many different strands I could go and I don't wanna make this video like 30 minutes long. So 
I will end this video here. Nobody has their lives together. Nobody's life is perfect. Nobody's a perfect mom. Nobody has a perfect house. Those are all lies and I just want you ladies to realize that you are the perfect mom for your kids. You may be going through a hard time, a dark time. You may feel like you're not gonna pull through, but you will. I promise that you will because I didn't think I would and I did. And for me, it's by the grace of God that I'm still here and alive and thriving. And I thank him every time that I think about how far that I've come personally. I know there's some mamas out there that aren't as fortunate as I am and end up doing something drastic. And if you are thinking about taking your own life, please, please, please message me right after you're done watching this video, message me because I will be a listening ear for you. I will just sit here and I will listen and you can talk and you can just vent and you can, I'm here, okay? That's what I wanna to communicate to you guys. I'm here if you need to talk. So do not hesitate reaching out to me. I love all of you ladies. I hope you have an amazing week. Leave your topics if you have any down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.